Good evening, this is Yadio Kopron with the Orange Phones Project. Uh, the U.S. economy is a very rich economy to embrace this, phone, this type of phone right now. There are a few risks, but there are also a lot of rewards with this type of phone. The fact that it's a multi-SIM and there is not really a large competition for this kind of phone will really intrigue a lot of people. And this is really a perfect time to enter the U.S. economy. Um, the fact that there is a fluctuation in competitors is also a very positive thing for this kind of company to, to get into the market right now. Um, there are many partnerships that this phone can make in terms of accessories uh, will allow for more investors. Um, the fact that this is a gaming phone will allow it to create uh, gaming accessories for younger kids and a very large market that they could focus on. There is also a large profit in terms of making a lot of accessories for this kind of phone. The fact that this phone is able to be traveled with will also have a large impact on the amount of partnerships that they could have. The smartphone market is really broken into, up into three main levels in the U.S., but there is a very large focus on the bottom one and the top one, which is the high grade and the low grade. This phone would uh, mostly fall in a lower grade because of its price point. Um, with this lower grade, it will be able to focus on people with you know, not the most amount of money, but that travel often. Um, I could find that as being some immigrants and also they could also target a higher grade market in terms of those being businessmen and casual travelers for the simple fact that they travel often and they will be able to use that multi-SIM aspect of the phone to their benefit. And also in terms of uh, a gaming phone, it will be a great phone for a kid's first phone. Um, like I said in the previous slide, with a utilization of accessories and a lot of games in the Android marketplace, it would allow for a great, great phone for a, for a kid. Um, this is a completely new lane that this phone has created with the simple fact that they have the multi-SIM capacity. They could travel anywhere in the world and still be useful. There are some phones. Uh, I've seen one in the, in the Metro PCS market that does allow for uh, roaming in international companies, but that is very limited to, uh, to the amount of countries that they have right now. Um, some consumer uh, trends have to do with the price range. Uh, people in this price range for this phone will um, put out this money and they, would, they will also get a lot of use out of the phone with the simple fact that they could use it in international markets. Um, so it says, uh, like I said, foreign immigrants, uh, travelers that uh, have to travel for work and there's also even though Apple controls the market in the US there is a major market that sticks with Android and for those kind of people they will find a lot of joy out of this phone out of this phone and they will be able to use it into many ways that that aren't typically used in terms of just just travels and they'll be able to utilize that multi sim function and use it also to its advantage with the gaming phone, with the gaming type of phone. Um, the competitors' practices, there aren't any multi-SIM phones in the market, so that, that'll that provide it to be a very large market in the U.S. since there is a large gap in that. Um, in terms of all the other uh, specs that it compares to other phones with, it's pretty much on par with the amount of megapixels and screen size and resolution that it has. So people that will be looking very into into depth about that, we'll see a very clear comparison with other phones about that. Um, there are some threats. The main threat would be just other apps that could allow for international communication without actually needing uh, a, a multi-use SIM or, or a different provider's SIM card. But the the problem with that is that it's only useful when you have Wi-Fi. The phone will be allowed to be useful anytime that there's connection and will actually have a stronger connection than most Wi-Fi's so and the biggest thing that this provides is is that if it fills a hole for it fills the white space it finds that it finds it found that it that there is a marketplace that does not have a multi sim function and many people would be able to use it so and there is a very big market in with this in the US so that's what I have found with my findings. I look to, I have a lot more research, and um, 
I love to show you a lot more. So this is what I found so far and let me know what you think. Thank you.